All right, what is going on guys? So I've got a pretty cool idea for today's video. I'm gonna try and make a lure out of chocolate and catch a fish on it. Kind of been wanting to do this for a while, never got around to it, but yeah, today I'm gonna to get on with it. Bought a couple of bars of chocolate, I've got some cheap stuff, but white chocolate and dark chocolate, so we can have like a white lure and a black lure. So yeah, I'm gonna try and make them solid out of chocolate. I'm gonna through wire it, so of course obviously chocolate's gonna break. Through wire it, Probably gonna have to add some buying at the top because I'm pretty sure chocolate sinks, not 100% sure on that. But yeah, I'm gonna cast. I've got my old jerk bait mold, it's pretty hammered, but should be able to cast a chocolate layer in this. So I'm gonna get in the shed, make a through wire, figure out what I'm gonna use to weight the chocolate um, so it's you know balanced rather than just all the same weight. And yeah, then we're gonna go out, try to catch a fish. See if we can catch my first fish on chocolate. I'm not sure, I've, I don't think I've ever seen anyone make a chocolate lure, so this might be the first one. So yeah, we're gonna get in the shed, make a through wire, pour some chocolate, and get some chocky lures made. All right guys, we're in the shed. It's very messy, but uh, that doesn't matter. So, I've made a couple of through wires to fit this jerk bit mold, if you can see. Um, and yeah, I've kind of, tested the weight of water in chocolate and it sinks a lot slower than I expected so what I'm going to do for this first one just to test it out I put a little bit of lead down like in the center of the lure on the middle hook hanger and then to like add a bit of top buoyancy I put a little bit of balsa wood so hopefully we can get it heavy at the bottom but still keep a nice slow sink with it so get some chocolate pod and see what we can do with it so yeah, through wire, hopefully it'll pour nice, we'll have to see. I don't think it's gonna, yeah. I think it's a bit thick to pour. Okay, back out of the fridge, said about 30 more minutes. Got to be done now, surely. Oh, I think it is. Oh, it looks like, oh, it's pretty much all there. There's a hole at the top, I can fill that in pretty easy. I'll just leave it, maybe. Demold the rest of it. That, that's a little bit of a problem and that's not even fully cured yet I'm going to melt it in my hand here so yeah I need to fill that top top hole there but yeah we're pretty much done so I'm going to do the white one now I'm going to see, see how this sinks actually before I do the white one hopefully eh, that's not good as soon as I've got this hole already stop it sinking too fast I might fill that with some floaty stuff. See, see if I can get it to sink a bit better. Well, I'm going to do the white one now anyway. Okay, so I'm doing the rigging for the white one. Pretty similar. Less lead and the lead's a bit lower and this is a bit further forward. But yeah, it's pretty similar so I'm going to get this mould put together and hopefully this one pours a bit better. As long as I've got at least one of them working, I'll be happy. Right, white chocolate's melted. Unfortunately, I burnt it a bit, so it's gone a bit thick and weird, but hopefully we can still get a pour out of it. It's, yeah, oh, sheesh. All right, this might not work, actually. <laughs> Top that up and then leave that for, a, I don't know, an hour. See how it is. Ooh, it's pretty, pretty much done. Kind of torn a bit on one side. It's kind of a little bit wet and it's like tearing off there. Apart from that, it looks pretty good. <coughs> okay guys, so I actually managed to get both layers done. This white one didn't turn out too bad. It's pretty rough, but you know, what you expect making one out of chalky. Um, 
<laughs> the dark chocolate one didn't work out that well, so I had to. I ran out of dark chocolate basically, so I had to fill the top end with white chocolate. So we've got like this marble effect with it. They both sink pretty quick, which is annoying. But I'm hoping I'll still be able to fish them. Just have to fish them a little quicker. But they don't look too bad. They look very rough. But like the goal is now just catch a fish on them. All right, guys, just got to the first spot with the chalky lure. Got the white one tied on. Got a hook rusher already, just from being in the car. Super heavy, but we shall see if it works. I'm kind of nervous for this. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, not very good at all. The water's really dirty as well. Okay, this might be difficult. I'm just guessing to weed. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm not feeling very confident with this at all. There's uh, a lot of colour in the water. I mean, I can jerk this. Not too bad. You can't really see it because of the colour. But I can get a decent jerk on it. It just sinks so fast. I can't really pause it or anything. Oh well. Give it a go anyway. It's a very weird action on it. I don't understand why it's sinking sideways as well. The um, the weight on it's pretty central. Oh, it's kind of off to the side to be fair. But I can't see why it's sinking like full on sideways. Oh. Just need to catch one fish with it. I'm sure I can find a jack that's stupid enough to eat this. Even though it looks pretty ridiculous working. Swimming on its side and everything. Confidence is not high at all. I'm gonna give the brown one or so, see how that one goes. See how it swims out. Huh. Might be a little bit better this one to be fair. Hard to tell because I can't really see it in the water. Right, so this might be cheating a bit. But with the conditions today, I think I'm allowed. I've added uh, the curly tail to it. See how this works. Made it into a tail bait. Started melting in my hand when I was doing that. That's kind of better if I just sort of twitch it. Sinks a little slower, but still not very good action at all. That. I reckon I can catch on that though. Straight retrieve, it just sort of <laughs> swims on its side, which is very annoying. But I'm going to fish it with its tail on it. See how I get on with this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. That's... Come on, do not come off. Like, oh, that feels all right, actually, as well. Right on that far bank. A couple of twitches, <laughs> and it got nailed. Oh, please do not come off. I need this fish. I've been fishing for so long without even seeing anything. Oh, 
oh, this feels like a nice fish on the chocolate lure guys come on let me see you not really seen it yet oh it's only a small one but hey <laughs> on the chocolate lure oh it's got some power though cast straight into a hole on the far bank Very strong fish. It's only a little, but it felt really. <laughs> it felt really big when you took that. Crushed it. Why is it so strong? I just want to land it. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. We got a sock. I don't understand why I can't land this fish. It's not that big. Come on, mate. Yes. Oh, the chocolate. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's official. We caught a pike on the chocolate bait. Oh, took a big chunk out of the back. We're missing a chunk off the front, but it worked. He absolutely hammered it. Yes. Can you catch pike on chocolate? Of course you can. Well, guys. I don't think you realise how many casts I actually had to make to get this fish. But there it is, on the chocolate lure. <laughs> I'm well happy with that. The lure looks massive in its mouth. It's only a small fish, but yeah, I am happy to get that today. Honest Whoa. Okay, went a bit crazy then. Honestly thought I was gonna blank. But uh, yeah, this very aggressive, powerful little guy showed up. There we go. I that was a lucky cast straight onto this park, but um, I'm happy to get him. We're going to get him put back now. Hopefully, catch another one. We'll see though. See you, buddy. The clarity on this water is so bad today. But lucky cast straight to that far bank and uh, White chocolate lure got nailed. As you can see, we've got a few chunks out of it now, but I'm gonna keep fishing with it for a little bit. See if we can get some more fish, <laughs> but yes, well happy with that, guys. There we go. Oh, we've got a fish on the chocolate lure. The power of perseverance. I've been casting and casting and casting, not seeing a single fish. Just get that fish, uh, get that lure in the right place and straight on it, was so cool. I thought I honestly thought that could have been a double with the way that was fighting, but the uh, the rear treble or the front treble, one of the trebles was like flipped around on its gill, so giving it a bit of a weird fight, but hey, I'm happy with any size fish on this. I mean, it's chocolate for Christ's sake. <sighs> Bleeding a bit, that's actually chopped the side of my finger off when I was uh, <laughs> carving some meat, so it's not from the fish, it's just uh, Knocked my plaster off, but not to worry. See if we can get another fish to hit this now. That was cool as hell. Alright guys, so I'm done with this chocolate lure now. Fish for about two and a half hours. Super tough. Like, I caught a fish on it, but I wouldn't say that the lure works exactly. Um, very bad action, so yeah. I might do this again, but I'm going to definitely have to think a bit more about how I weight the lure. But... We caught a fish. It's very gnarly now. If you can see it. Yeah, very gnarly. A few chunks out of it. it took on a weird brown colour uh, from the canal, but. Tastes a bit funky actually, but still tastes like, <laughs> still tastes like chocolate. So, that's it. Finished with the chocolate lure. Probably going to fish back down with a different lure, so if I catch anything, I'll bang it in the end of this video, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed something a bit different. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.